fundamental transphobia. I hear a lot of gay men saying to me, well, I like dick, I like men. I think that trans men are handsome, but I could never ever sleep with one of them. Well, thank you for telling everyone you're very boring. Also, you're like, this is just transphobia. Like, I don't think any of you know what that word fucking means, but it is, if you have to exempt or rationalize why you don't want to be with a transgender person in the fucking first place, trying to get you to see how you're being transphobic is impossible. What's something you own that you don't ever plan on using? My uterus. Because fuck, and I mean this with all disrespect, them kids. Lastly, we have cupiosexual. Cupiosexual people are asexual people who still desire a sexual relationship, but don't experience sexual attraction. Cupiosexual people may decide to have a sexual relationship despite not feeling sexual attraction, while others don't. Both are completely valid and communication is key. Hope I could help. Check out my hashtag VampireKidExplains for more. Um, I'm trying to phrase this nicely and I can't yell, but I want to. So, um, black people and people of color in the queer community aren't seen by white queers as as queer as they are. On almost every occasion where I've been discussing my queerness or my experiences with queerness with white gays, they speak to me in a condescending way and they treat me as if I am a straight person imposing on a queer subject because they don't see us as, as queer as them. Queerness is seen as um, something that is white and a way to, to compare oppression and it's used to compare oppression. So it's impossible for white gays to see us as, as gay as them. The LGBTQ community has been used as a front to hide racism or to excuse racism. Do research on black queerness, please. I am looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> yes. And with that being said, I have one little requirement. Just one little guy. Just one little thing. <laughs> you gotta be rich. <laughs> you gotta have a shit ton of fucking money. Young people in my class are teaching us about Pride Month. So we've got a lot of art up here dedicated to Pride Month starting here in June. And we have a calendar telling us about everything that's happening each day. Exciting. It's Vroom Vroom Art. It's been that for a while. Vroom Vroom Art. Orchid's paw with a zero. Unfortunately, that's illegal, but these children's quote-unquote history books are so problematic that I came up with another method. So instead of returning them, since not returning them is illegal, you just cyclically renew them so that they never stay on the shelves. Died and Sarah and Duck are playing indoors. It first started out with me making a 12 foot tall cutout of my waifu Sayaka Maizano from Danganronpa. And then I was like, ah, oh, that's not big enough, so let's just create a 41 foot tall picture of my waifu next. Spend a month building a base that was 30 feet tall out of wood to try to get her to stand up on her own. This is what happens when you unplug my phone. Sayaka Maizono is my waifu. This is what my phone and its apps look like. This is what my home screen looks like on my Mac. This is the back of my Mac. This is my Twitter, Reddit, Discord, and you'll get a kick out of this. This is my LinkedIn page. Yes, this is my actual LinkedIn page. If you go on to LinkedIn and search my profile, this will actually be there. Yes, I really did put that I'm a giant waifu builder and in real life Minecraft builder at the Mizuno Construction Company. My Amazon Echo, my old wall, my drone, printer, even my printer's name to the computer is Sayaka. On the way upstairs, the door to my room, and when you type my name into Google search, my wife has DID. This is our life. I have a body. Oh, I got the first in my eye. Uh, I just woke up. See, I, I wear my butt pop. It makes my nose red right there. And I got the rosacea. So look how messy my hair is. Because I just woke up. I got something really cool to show you guys. So are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? <gasps> I got my glasses. Look at them. They're so cool. We have lost them. I think Andrea 
She likes to hide stuff from us. We got these from Zinni Optical. Not a sponsor. Not big enough for a sponsor. <laughs> anyway, look how quite nice they are. The pink and purple and blue. Very nice for Susie. I got a new shirt in the middle. It's peach. Having a good day so far. It's a good time. Love you guys. My man's over there tweaking in that car, boy. Oh, oh, oh. He looked like that dude on uh, Men in Black when he was like, give me sugar water. I want sugar water. Oh, oh fucking fella. but men texting me hi hey what's up it seems kind of gaslighty to me i think you have the audacity to say that to me which is good for you but like for me like do i want to read that no i think it's manipulation i think you're trying to make me feel bad for you i can feel it coming on Guess the player. I heard only psychopaths can hear the words. Why can I hear them? Should I be worried? My soon-to-be ex-husband always reminded me that because I have four kids, because I don't take a lot of shit, no one is ever going to love me. Anyone who tries to love me, they're only going to want me because I'm cute and they want to fuck. <laughs> 